Hello YouTube, Vixen Arts here, and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial, and this tutorial is going to be about how I make my text in Cinema 4D before they enter Photoshop, and what I do to them to make them look nice. So that's what I'm going to be doing in like a minute or two, but before I get started with that, I just want to explain a few updates that have gone on with me. Um, if you're watching this on my channel, as you can see, I have a partnership, um, yeah, I have a partnership at like I believe like 190 subs which uh, is pretty shocking I get a lot of people you know asking me hey uh, how'd you get that well all I'm gonna say is that it is a very small company and it goes by the name of buzz my videos um, that is their YouTube channel too youtube.com slash buzz my videos they don't really use the YouTube and if you want to sign up to become a partner you have to go to their website which is also buzz my videos com so that's just a little uh, tip to uh, if you want to get partnered, but you have to like sign up and wait for emails, of course. And they only—this is the most important part—they only sponsor, not sponsor, what am I saying? They only partner uh, GFX channels and Minecraft channels. Um, don't ask me why; I have no idea, but that's just what they do. So, if you qualify, there's really no requirements either. So, as you can see from me, there's really no requirements. So, uh, yeah. Um, so let's focus on the tutorial here. Um, what I got open right now in Cinema 4D is Era's Light uh, Studio, Era's Lightroom. Um, I don't think I could put the download link in the description because I don't have the uh, thing anymore. But I'm pretty sure you can go download it. I think it's in like his uh, GFX pack he gave away. So if you don't have it, I think you can get it there. But uh, it's pretty popular, so you should have it. But anyway, you don't actually have to have this Lightroom to do the same stuff. You could use whatever Lightroom you want. So, all right, what I start off with is I'm going to start off with a Mo text or just any kind of way you open up text. <coughs> Where are you at? There you are. Oh man, my Cinema 4D is glitching up. You see this right here? How I'm trying to slide it over, but yet it's zooming in and out. If anybody could tell me how to fix this, I just want to slide it over. I can't do anything to it. Instead, it just zooms it in. But so when this happens, all I do is just go to coordinates and fix it. All right. So you're for my uh, Lightroom here. I want to go down about just this much because it will leave like a light mark on the text, which I do not want. Alright, so I got the text pretty much centered in there, so I'm just going to get it in a good uh, view of the screen. And first we're just going to pick a font. Actually, I'm going to make it a, a tutorial. And we're going to pick a font. Now, I'm going to use a font that I just downloaded today, and I've been looking for it all over the place, and I finally got it. It is the font that Rated uses all the time. It is Paz. I love it. There we go. Tutorial. Alright. Once you got your text, what I usually do for the depth of it is I is usually 200. That's usually the perfect depth, in my opinion. Um, occasionally, I'll do 300, but I don't, that's just for specific backgrounds if I do this to it. I usually do 300 if I make it go like that. But um, I'm not doing that right now, so we'll go 200. So 200 is good. And what I do next is I go to Caps, and this is pretty much the important part right here. When I go to Caps, I have uh, this layer is 2 for everything. Fill it Cap, Steps 2, Radius 2. Fill it Cap, Steps 2, Radius 2. There we go. And you got this here. Um, next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to duplicate that same exact layer. So Control C, Control V, copy and paste. And you're going to want to move that and just leave the layer where it's at. And you go to coordinates and just click up on the Z one, Z coordinate here. Click it up ten times so it's on ten. And this is just once again my personal preference. So you can move it wherever you want. But this is what I do. Um, it moves it back ten. And you go to caps and you raise everything up. That was two to three. So there's a layer that's thicker, and what I do then is I will drag this uh, texture or material comes with the Lightroom, so I'm just going to use this right now. Um, I'm going to drag this onto the first layer, 
and I'm going to copy and paste this uh, material, make a new one, and I'm going to color this black. Oops, that's illuminance. Black. There we go. And with the black, I'm going to drag it onto the back layer. So you have the nice effect where only the front part of it is uh, a lighter color and the back part is all black. Now, I don't know if this material, let's render it out and see, I don't know if this material is going to be fully pitch black. It might be a really dark gray, I'm not sure. It should be a dark gray. Come on. But anyway, as you can see when it's rendering, you have the um, light from the top. It has like a light mark here, light mark there, light mark there, and all around the tops of the letters, which I think is a nice, cool uh, effect. So it's actually looking so far like the background is a pitch black color. It's not even a dark gray. Well, I'll be able to tell when it gets to the L over here. Uh, yeah, it's a pitch black right there, so, uh, anyway, um, so that's, uh, my, pretty much my style of how I do my text in Cinema 4D. I really don't do anything else to them, because I am not exactly an expert. I really don't know much at all in, uh, Cinema 4D. I can't model to save my life, and... Yeah, so I'm just a tax person. Um, something I haven't done in a while, actually. Let me find it. All right, up here, this little blue little bendy thing. Um, oops, not that. Uh, you click that, and you go down to Wrap. Uh, and you take your text and drag it onto the... Oops, nope, my bad. You take the wrap and drag it onto the text. And I'll make open up another one here. And we're gonna drag that onto the other one. So your text is wrapped, and when it's wrapped, you want know, to make sure both your layer, wrapped layers are selected, and reduce the tension. We'll go to about like 30. Yeah. Um. But as you can see, the letters on the end, uh, let me go down here, really aren't curved. They're kind of flat and like leveling out, which is not what we want. So. And this uh, text is kind of a stretch, so I'll show you what you do with that. But, uh, uh why you have this here? Uh, hold on. Oops. I was just messing with that because i never seen what that did before. Okay. Uh, radius. That's how you fix it. So you just lower down the radius, which I think the radius will look good right here. We'll go 160. Is that still... Yeah, I just see the T right here. It's not exactly like curved like these ones are. So what you want to do is, if I can remember, I haven't done this in a while. All right, yeah. There is you click on one of the wrap layers, and as you can see up here, there's this uh, yellow square. You just click that and uh, just drag it in a little bit more, like inside the other text layer a little bit, and then uh, the number that's right here for width. You will copy that and go to the other wrap layer and just paste it there. Boom. And then your font is perfectly wrapped with no ugly bends on the sides. And if we render it... I remember seeing like every background I went on, like every channel, they would always have a background with like curved text like this and now it died out. I think the big thing right now is the cell render, which my previous, uh, what do you want to call it, tutorial was on, because uh, it was a trending topic, so I decided why not do it, because I use it on 85% of my background, so, um, I really don't think I should just sit here and wait for this to render out, because it's pretty self-explanatory, but anyway, th that's pretty much all I do to my text, I, actually, I, don't even do anything else to it. I was going to say I rarely change it, but I actually don't change it at all. So, uh, yeah, this has been a tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for... Actually, I want to uh, tell you guys, uh, please comment on this video telling me what you want to see, because I have no idea what you guys want to see. Do you want speed arts? Do you want tutorials? Um, 
in case you guys haven't noticed, I've never actually uh, done a uh, manipulation before. I just can't do it really. Like, I think eventually I could if I spent more time on it, but I can't like record it just yet because that will take too much time. So, I'm going to try to do one of those, but I'm going to be hitting 2000, uh, 2,200 subs uh, real soon, so I'm trying to think of something maybe special to do for that. I don't know if I'll do it right away. You know, it would be a good time to put out a GFX pack, but I just did it like 75 subs ago, so not going to happen right there. But anyway, uh, this is getting to be, yeah, it's 10 minutes long, so I'm going to uh, turn this off now. Peace.